Recently, Chinese researchers have been working on a robotic finger that is encased in living flesh, which they claim takes us closer to generally humanoid robots. The researchers state that the finger is capable of repairing itself, which has been seen as a breakthrough that blurs the boundaries between live flesh and machinery. Previously, scientists developed skin grafts, which were sheets of skin that could be sewn together for use in reconstructive surgery. Initially, the scientists submerged the robotic finger in a cylinder filled with collagen and skin human fibroblast solution. They coated the surface of the finger with a layer that functions as a primer for paint and forms a flawless link for the following layer of human cells. From the video, we can see the flexing of the finger forward and back which causes the appearance of natural wrinkles on the joints and of the fingers. In the case of any injury, the artificial skin can self-repair just like human skin with the help of collagen bandages. Although this idea is still in its infancy, researchers are having trouble persuading the general public that a robot with actual skin won't be hideous to look at. The CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, Elon Musk, has stated that the Tesla bot will be unveiled in September. Last month, the Tesla CEO announced that a second AI Day event will take place on August 19th, which will showcase the company's achievements in the field of artificial intelligence. But he had to delay it in order to coincide with the construction of an operating prototype of a humanoid robot named Optimus. He also stated that the business will focus on constructing the robot with the goal of demonstrating a functioning prototype by the end of 2022 and deploying the robot on the production line as soon as 2023. In the preliminary specifications, the Tesla bot, standing 173 centimeters tall and weighing 57 kilograms, will be capable of lifting loads up to 68 kilos and weighing just four and a half kilograms. The maximum speed will be 8 kilograms per hour, with 40 servo motors being employed in the robot design from the electronics acquired from Tesla electric car autopilot capabilities, which will allow quick training of robots using the proprietary neutral network. In order to launch the Tesla Cybertruck series, Musk had to somewhat compromise his futuristic design, resulting in a modified configuration that conforms with American law. The electric car has received standard rear view mirror rather than side cameras and standard windshield wipers rather than lasers or a single huge windshield wiper which conforms to the U.S. road regulators. Tesla has also received a massive foundry deployed by the Italian firm Idra. The Gigapress weighs over 400 tons and is the biggest foundry in automotive history. The Cybertruck features an exterior shell that gives maximum strength and protection to passengers beginning with an almost impenetrable exoskeleton and continuing with each component engineered to provide greater strength and durability, ranging from ultra-hard, 30-fold, cold-rolled stainless steel structural plating to armored tester glass. Up to this point, we're waiting for the first genuine version of the Cybertruck to hit the road. The first speeder, P2 jet motorcycle, was unveiled by the Jetpack Aviation Company, Mayman Aerospace, the motorbike is capable of taking off and landing at speeds of up to 800 kilometers per hour. It is powered by eight jet engines that run on environmentally friendly fuel that are either fully CO2 free or emit very little CO2. The housing is composed of carbon fiber and conserves the pilot's posture, which increases the aerodynamics of the equipment. But the motorbike does not need to be operated while sitting on it or remotely as the operator. The Speeder P2 is capable of transporting 45 kilos across 640 kilometers at speeds of more than 800 kilometers per hour. It can move on its own, which makes it one of the unique jetpacks in the jetpack aviation industry. The modular architecture optimizes the jetpack for specialized uses, such as freight transportation, police or rescue, and personal travel. Recently, the robotic system lab, IT Zurich, announced that they have created an animal robot which moves better and more cleanly on wheels than most robots without them. According to researchers, the robot blends offline track optimization and control with online model prediction, allowing it to master its legs and wheels with each action. In each setting, the robot can identify ideal actions while taking into consideration barriers and its own physical constraints. The path optimization algorithms convert complicated tasks into dynamically feasible motions that are saved in the robot's motion library. Using the library, the robot can calculate motion particularly in real time with little latency. The algorithms from the library are able to create new trajectories and motion simultaneously, integrate them in an ideal manner of seamlessness, and also combine them into a single maneuver. 
the first test flight of a four-seat EV tall Volvo. Connect was done by the German aircraft manufacturer Volocopter. It lasts two minutes and 14 seconds, and the machine conducted a sequence of motions throughout that time. According to reports, the present prototype possesses all the desired attributes of a potential commercial air taxi. The test should now prove the dependability and safety of all systems under full load in emergency scenarios, including engine failure and controlled and autonomous flight. Similarly, the Chinese developers also disclosed their prototype, Autoflight Prosperity 1, which can take off and land vertically, then transition to cruise mode and move horizontally at speeds exceeding 180 km per hour. The prototype design is currently being worked on. According to the company, it will increase its efficiency as well as upgrade the layout of the lift and cruise systems by refining lift screws. And as a result, Prosperity will be able to transport four people at 250 km per hour with a cruising speed of 200 km per hour. Depending on the approval of auto flight permissions in China and Europe, commercial operations might begin as early as 2026. Do you know what is common between Okado, Tesco, Sainsbury, and Weight Rose? Well, they are supermarkets that sell robot-assembled raspberries to the customers. The rise in quality and availability of fieldwork robotic devices is associated with widespread automation, which has been adopted by many farmers. The trials of the initial generation of equipment began around three years ago, when the manipulator required a full minute to pluck a berry. But continuous effort and innovation from developers has resulted in improved sensors which reduced the berry slide and substantially expedited the labor process. Presently, robot sensors detect ripe berries and delicately harvest them, spending an hour on one kilogram of raspberries. In the future, the designers intend to decimate the robot up to 25,000 berries each day, as well as increase the number of berries per day. Grow and Metal Motion, two revolutionary agricultural robotic companies, will make their appearance at Green Tech Amsterdam in 2022. Simultaneously, the Metal Motion will receive two hands instead of one, increasing robot performance by 80%. The robots have 3D computer vision based on color cameras, which are augmented by artificial intelligence. They identify the correct fruit and gently cut the branches with it using manipulators and scissors, turning at any necessary angle for the correct pick. Now the robots has created the first chef pizza, Alo, which is capable of automatically creating up to 50 pizzas per hour, potentially depriving pizza cooks of work forever. It is a self-contained kitchen spanning 3.7 by 3.7 meters that features storage facilities, cooking areas, an oven, and a seven-axis robotic arm that can move across the space. Customers can submit orders orally at the self-service counter or through a human cashier who electronically transfers orders to the kitchen. The robot can serve four different types of dough, four sauces, and 35 feelings. A futuristic-looking automobile called the Jidu Robo-1 was unveiled in Beijing, which is the brainchild of Chinese internet giant Adu and automotive manufacturer Geely. The futuristic car boasts a unique design as well as a high level of autonomy. According to the firm, it will cost at least $30,000 and will hit the streets next year. The car's interior features a racing seat, a tilting steering wheel, and a wide screen display that spans the whole dashboard. When activated, the automobile is fitted with sensors, including lighter, to display a 3D road that is dragged out of the hood. It is a modified version of Apollo, an open platform developed by Badu, and many partners, and which is used by dozens of Chinese automobile manufacturers. Jaidu says that its car will be able to drive independently on most roads while being monitored by a driver. Interestingly, the computer power used by Baidu to train autonomous driving algorithms is similar to that used by Tesla to fine-tune its autopilot software.